let's quickly look at um, the next type of um, bone problem. Uh, this is known as a hypertrophic osteoarthropathy. Hypertrophic osteoarthropathy. So you can see how it is. You can see how uh, basically it is from the bones. You can see that what hypertrophic. That means what the bones are actually increasing in size. Okay. So um, we talk about this from the types to the causes to the symptoms to the diagnostic to the investigations to the treatments that could actually be offered for this condition. All right. So for the definition, we say that uh, this hypertrophic osteoarthropathy is a rare condition characterized by an abnormal bone growth. All right. So there's an abnormal bone growth. There's joint inflammation, and there are some other systemic um, problems. Okay, so we have the primary uh, hypertrophic osteoarthropathy, which is anytime they say something is primary, that means the person was giving birth to it. Okay, so the problem is actually running in the family. Then the secondary um, hyper or uh, hypertrophic osteoarthropathy is the one that is associated with an underlying disease condition. Like there's a disease condition that is actually causing it, right? So causes now, if it is primary, uh, one of the causes is what is genetic mutations, all right? Then if it is secondary, that means we said that is another disease condition that is causing it, right? So another disease condition like what? Another disease condition like um, lung cancer, cystic fibrosis pulmonary tuberculosis, congenital heart disease, inflammatory bowel disease, right? So all of this can be able to cause um, a hypertrophic word, osteoarthropathy. okay? Then getting to look at the symptoms now, getting to look at the symptoms, like how will it show up like, okay? So yeah, there'll be clubbing of the fingers and toes. Of course, that's how I got to know about this disease condition because this is conditions like a possible differential diagnosis for finger clubbing, all right? There'll be joint pain and swelling. There'll be morning stiffness. There'll be skin thickness. There'll be bone, bone pain. There'll be weight loss and there'll be fatigue, all right? So diagnostic criteria is um, there'll be clubbing, finger clubbing. There'll be peristitis. There'll be joint effusion. There'll be skin thickening. There will be a positive family history of the condition, right? Then, um, looking at the investigations, you can do things like what? X-rays, CT scan, magnetic resonance imaging, bone scan, genetic testing, blood tests, just to confirm, right? So, treatment is what pain management because the patient will be complaining a lot about pain. So, you want to manage that. Anti-inflammatory medications, corticosteroids, Call chicane, all right? The surgery in some severe cases then address the underlying cases. Since we are saying uh, the causes, the causes, we had some disease condition that I can actually cause that, all right? Then complication is what, well, of course, there's bone uh, joint deformity. There's chronic pain. The person is not moving as he wants, so limited mobility. There's respiratory complications. There's increased risk of, fra of, of fractures, okay? So that's it for this condition known as hypertrophic osteoarthropathy, right? So that's it and see you guys.